hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Hello everyone and welcome back, my name is Mate and today we are continuing with the Targaryen playthrough as Aegon the Strong. Uh, last episode we dealt with a rebellion from the Westerlands, but we failed to defeat Dawn quick enough as their war score continued to time up. So they managed to declare their independence. We can reclaim it in a few years and not suffer penalty. Alternatively, he is quite old, so we could try and plot to kill him. Um, which I might do. That might be the preferable thing to do. Let's just have a quick check. Yeah. Well, we'll give the plot a go and see if we're able to. So let's try and plot to kill him. And hope we can get some support for it. Might have to buy a few people off. Uh, in the meantime, the Iron Bank wishes us to pay some bills, which we will not do for our vassals. Uh, it wants me to pick an ambition, which will probably to be to have five kids. Now, House Keltigar is going to become the paramount of the Westerlands. Oh, not paramount. Typing the wrong thing. So, I need to find the Lord of Keltigar. There he is, Lord Crispian. Currently sat in Claw Isle, uh, pretty tiny. If he suffers revolt, then he may well struggle. But I am going to give him the Kingdom of the Westerlands and everything under it, which would include the High Lordship of Casterly Rock. Um, so we're going to do that right away and make him a paramount. So he gets the High Lordship of Casterly Rock. Um, but that is his seat of power which would be a little bit strange um, but hopefully he can hold on to it and maybe make something of it in the meantime we have a few bits that we need to do we need to perhaps go out east uh, we have a lot of money, we're doing a lot of construction work on King's Landing. Let's check the prisoners, because we've also got a lot of prisoners. We've got some that we don't really need, like the Stokeworth child. Alton we were going to bring up for judgement, so we might do that now if I'm able to. Don't seem to be able to. Can I... Oh, there we go. Call him for trial. Let's do it. And the ransom has been accepted. Excellent. So, Stormsinger Alton has demanded a trial before the court. Which Paramount Oris shall oversee? Ah, uh, he's not the best, but let's see how he does. Stormsinger Alton begins to present his defence, but the court did not seem impressed. Now Lord Paramount Oris will interrogate him. And he masterfully questioned the accused. Using every superlative available in the common tongue, he captivated the court, ripping through the accused defence and showing them to be a liar. He made a strong case and the verdict has been reached and he has been found guilty. So I think what we will do is have him uh, have his head on a pike. Goodbye, Alton. That is for not crowning me. Stormsinger Alton has been brought before his cell for execution. How will he be dispatched? Feed him to my dragon. You've declared that Alton shall be executed for his crimes and that he will make a meal for your dragon. Beleriand duly roasts the victim with dragon flame on your command and then devours his charred corpse. That is him done. 
why you should have crowned me in the first place. Just saying. Uh, right, so Oris can now go back to his duties. Is there anyone better at Master of Whisperers? No. And Serene is my faithful storm singer now, as she crowned me rightly king. Uh, yes, Aegon's crown. Currently 36, so we've still got some good age in us. Does he have an egg? We could give him the egg. And I think we will, because we want it to hatch with him whilst he's still young. Uh, as is now Targaryen tradition, you have young Jaehaerys sleep in his bed with his new dragon egg. If a dragon is hatched, it will likely be a sign that the child is indeed a true Targaryen. And the guards have dragged Lionel Malister up from his cell and thrown him at your feet. He wants a trial by combat. Ooh, he has 90. Uh. Hmm. The Lord of Seaworth. Or who was. What skill do we have? 140. We could handle it ourselves. I feel like Aegon would. Particularly at a rebel. The court looks on tensely as you and Lionel face each other in the trial. You scan him for any sign of weakness. Let's use speed. Your experience in combat and prowess allows you to spot an opening. It's not much, but it's all I need. I easily break through his guard and move to extravagantly slice off his body com half his body completely. Whoa. Aegon. You strike and manage to get the better of Lionel, but do not defeat him outright. He rises to a feet and readies his longsword. But he is severely injured and maimed from that. Uh, I think we'll try for speed again. You parry Lionel away from Blackfire, allowing you to expertly bring down your weapon on an opening in his defence. Let's strike. And we easily break through his defence again. And now he is done. So, if I kill him, basically all of his family is upset. But we don't really care, because they haven't really got much power now. So, and he was a rebel. He's done. Slayed by Aegon during a trial of combat. Valar Morgulus. Good job, Aegon. Are there any upgrades that we can do to King's Landing? Currently building a castle town there. Uh, Illis Magister is currently in my captivity in the dungeon and there's been muttering amongst my courtiers that more comfortable confinement should be suitable for a highborn girl. I think not. Considering I just executed her father? Or probably uncle. Uh, no, her grandfather, in fact. Prince Arya always has her nose in the books and spends all her time with a storm singer of Valyrian. She could gain cynical. Oh, she could lose cynical for zealous. Uh, well, we want her to have zealous. How are we doing faction-wise? got the support of the Trident and Oris, so we now have three of the four Paramountsies on side. With Driftmark as Lord of the Trident, and still my High Admiral? No longer my High Admiral. There you go. You can be my High Admiral. I should make um, you Warden of the West, as is your right. The smallest spider makes my daughter, uh, Arya, squeal and run for cover. This has started to worry me. Well, we definitely don't want her to be craven. Uh, we do want her to be brave, preferably, but she didn't get it, but at least she's lost craven. Joffrey Lannister we could ransom for 10 gold. Yeah, I don't really need him. What can we call a great council for? Oh, the succession rights. Okay. And our current aim is to have five kids. Cool. Let's have another wife. Anyone Valyrian would be 
just grand if there is anyone Valyrian. Which doesn't look to be. There's a few. Oh, there's a Lady of the Trident, my cousin. That would make sense. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, my grace, whilst investigating the rumours of a plot in King's Landing, I was attacked by armed thugs. Oh no, Oris, you've been maimed. Or wounded, okay. Well, hopefully you recover. You want to marry my daughter. Uh, don't know how I feel about that. She has a dragon. I'm going to say no. But... I will... Oh, you've married someone else already. Okay. Well, then that's fine. We'll make you Master of the Hunt. Your Grace, I believe Scepter Jane Darkland has been in your custody for too long. You want to pay for her release. 46 gold? Sure. Not a bad price at all. Uh, Dragonstone. I could make Dragonstone a financial capital for me get good taxes. My bannerman Lord Montford Crab has been captured by Lord Rickard Rain of Castamere. Okay, so we need to just keep an eye on the Westerlands. What are you facing? Any sort of rebellion? Let's get a non-aggression pact and... What are you fighting? I can't see it at the moment. He's taken the whispers. Okay, that's good. So he's making some grabs. And he's accepted my proposal for a non-aggression pact. Which is good. Will you be uh, able to enter an alliance? No. Okay, fair enough. Right, what else have we got going on? What's going on in the Iron Islands at the moment? Currently run by the Black Tides. And he's only got 5,000 troops, so not much. Currently at war with the Seal Skins. Well, my Stormsinger has reported Alton has been humbled by my endless generosity. Are you proselytizing? No, we need to get you to proselytize. Because the realm is not Valyrian. And it needs to be. Uh, where can I upgrade? I can upgrade Harren Hall. And I can upgrade King's Landing. We can upgrade the King's Gate, which... Uh, what other ones can we do? The Dragon Gate. Flea Bottom. Let's do the King's Gate. It's 200 gold. Your Grace, I wish to um, express my consternation at the fact your Commander Alton enjoys command. So you have 19, he has 14. Okay, that's fair. Sorry, Alton, but you're done. Everybody lies in the quarters in King's Landing are no exception. Dickon told me not everyone lies. I almost started laughing. Oh, so we're a little bit cynical. Ah, but good, my wife's pregnant, which is nice. Your Grace, you've invested a lot of gold in improving the King's Gate, but the work is currently directionless and wasteful. You should really send your hand of the King to oversee the efforts. Good point. Uh, go and improve my holding, then. Good man, Oris. Could we get a claim? somewhere. Yes, the twins should be sworn to you, you're quite right. What about Pentos? Can we get a claim on Pentos? That might be quite fun. Uh, meanwhile, a few people can be arrested. But I'm keen to try and uh, get rid of some kingdoms from various people. 
You have a lot of lordships. And the Starks in the north. What have you got? You've got ice. I need to incite you to revolt, really. And I need to deal with this plot. How much will you... Oh, not much. Okay, well, let's just start getting this plot some momentum. I do need to bear in mind that I did just spend a heap of gold. Okay, well, we don't get too much. Uh, it seems that Lord Sauron of Driftwood Hall, the spymaster of Lord Paramount Torren of the North. Uh, ooh. We could have him killed immediately. Which did not work. I'm shocked and appalled to find out that you have not only tr oh god. I humbly ask that you intervene on my behalf against the aggression of Lord Paramount Sky of the Iron Islands. Will I order them to stand down? How do I not have the right to command you? What's the laws? I can't change them for quite some time. Damn. That's ages, I wonder why. Good, I've got support from three factions. Oh, we could go on a tour eventually. Uh, I'm not going to ask Damon to stand down. Because we want him to try and build up his strength. As much as possible. If he can. Meanwhile, council-wise, not doing too bad. I've got various uh, roles we can give out. Let's give Edmund. He's been fairly loyal to me. And Joffrey. We'll give Joffrey a small council advisor role. The King's Justice can be... Yeah, Ethan. Lord of the Trident. High Almoner can be Crispin. It occurred to me that my wife is feeling somewhat gloomy as of late. The burden of her unborn child is surely causing some humoral unbalance. Let's buy her something nice. Keep that health up. We need to make sure that we can have as many kids as possible. And actually what we should be doing is engaging them to one another. He's one, she's one, so they can be betrothed. As much as it's weird, I know, but it's the Targaryen tradition. Why is my court in hiding? She's complaining about cells. Is there anyone else we can sell? Clement, Lord of Butterwell, can be sold for 70 gold. I think he's learned his lesson now. Good. Meanwhile, we can appoint a new commander. And I, uh, Ethan, yeah. Ethan's awesome. He uh, really is coming up trumps for us. Is there any position I can give him? Not really. A son. We got another son, Valix. Awesome. So that takes us up to four kids now. We need one more to achieve our ambition. Um, ah, one of my children not doing so well. We can declare war on Dawn, I think, in four years? Oh no, in eight years, okay. But we're hoping he will die. He's stressed at the moment. My plot doesn't seem to be getting much traction. No one else is willing to join. So I think we'll just cancel it. And possibly look towards plotting to get a different High Lord or Lord Paramount to incite revolt. I think that's the way to go. Um, but in the meantime, I think we'll end the episode there. Please do uh, leave a like if you're enjoying the series. Comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next episode. <laughs>